guys, today I have a book review for you and it is on Graceling by Kristen Kishore. And this book has been talked about for a very long time. And I finally bought it on Barnes & Noble because it was on sale for like $4. So I was like, why not? And I was already on there anyways. So I bought it and I'm so happy that I did. Since this is the first book in the trilogy, I will be doing um, a non-spoiler review and then the spoiler part for those of you who have read it because you guys know that I love discussing books. And just a quick thought, if you guys hear like weird noises, um, obviously I'm not filming in my room right now and there's a lot of commotion going on so sorry if you hear like beeps or barks or who knows what, what's going to happen. But yes, so let me start off by telling you guys that the main character's name in this book is Katza and um, she's a Graceling, which basically means that she's graced, and she has, it's not really a power, I mean, it's a power, but it's more of like, um, something special that you're really good at. And Katza's grace is she's a really good fighter, and she also adapts to surviving really well. So she kind of has like two graces, but when I say she's a really good fighter, um, she can basically like grab your hand and if she squeezes it just a little bit, all of your bones will break. But she's also, so it's like she has like intense strength when it comes to fighting, but she's also a really skilled fighter when it comes to technique and stuff like that. Um, but you can, if you have a grace, you can have a grace like you could be really good at cooking or you could be really good at running or playing sports, so stuff like that just so you guys have a good idea. So um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sound like I'm telling you guys a lot about the book, but really this book is 30 pages shy of 500, so I'm not really giving spoilers away for you, those of you who are worried. But so the time era isn't really medieval, but it's like kind of around there, like when there were kings and queens. And this book is based off of seven kings and seven kingdoms. And I'm not going to list them all because it's just kind of irrelevant, but I'll tell you guys the important ones. But basically, there's seven kingdoms. They're all really far, like, spaced apart. And they all have very seven different kings. So, it's awesome. I mean, the characters in this book, I can't even rave. Like, I could sit here and rave all day about them because they were so amazing and so well written. And I'm glad that this was, like, a medievalish book. Because I feel like all of the books I've been reading so far are dystopian, so this was kind of a nice change. Um, so Katza's definitely not like Juliet from the Shadow Me series, which is my favorite series. She does not have a problem with um, hurting people, really, or killing them. Because she is the niece of King Randa, and he is one of the kings of one of the kingdoms. And she's his niece, and he basically uses her power to hurt people. And he's kind of like, you know what, that guy really didn't pay me what he was supposed to pay me for the lumber that I gave him. So I want you to go kill him and kill him along with killing his family. And she's kind of like, oh my gosh. You know what I'm saying? Like she doesn't like doing it, but she still like is kind of like, she still gets bossed around by him. Um, but she also starts this thing. Hold on. I'm totally blanking right now. Oh, the council. And this isn't really a spoiler because... She, it's kind of like what she's doing behind her, um, behind her uncle's back, and you find that out like within the first few chapters. And it's basically like she kind of hurts people when they do bad things. I want to say like that's kind of, I, I guess that's a good description. And there's the word has spread about the council, and there's a lot of people from a lot of kingdoms who are involved in it. So it's kind of a good thing, and she's you know, like the president of it. She basically started it. So she has a lot of respect from a lot of different people. But the people who don't know about the council disrespect her because they're scared of her because she's a grace. And when someone's a grace, you can tell because their eyes will be different colors. And for Katza, she has one green eye and one blue eye. And, you know, people disrespect her and they're mean because they're scared of her and they've heard the rumors and they know what she does for her uncle. So basically the moral of the story is there's this old grandfather, Telef, from the kingdom of Lynid, and he was taken, and someone took him, and Katza went and rescued him, but the whole story is, why was he taken, and under what circumstances? So Katza, on the back here, it says that she befriends Poe, 
who is um, the grandson of T. Lift, who is captured. And Poe is the youngest of seven boys. I think they're all boys. And he is the son of King... Oh, no. I want to say it's Lore. I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong. But yes, and Poe is adorable. I love Poe. He's great. So this story is Katza and Poe's journey, um, trying to figure out why Tealith was captured. And there is so much adventure in this book, you guys. So much adventure. I loved it. I loved the survival. I loved the characters. The setting is never boring because it's constantly changing. You're constantly being introduced to new kingdoms. It's amazing. I loved every single second of this book. And I'm glad that I finally read it. Um, it's so good. So if you haven't read it, pick it up. It's the first of a trilogy. The second is Fire and the third is Bitter Blue. And, oh, that's another thing. I loved the characters' names in here. They were so different. I just, I don't know. It was just such a different, good, refreshing book. And I loved it. So again, that's Graceling by Kristen Kishore. Go pick it up. I don't know if it's still on sale at Barnes & Noble, but you guys can always check. And now um, for the spoiler part, so if you haven't read it, please click off now, and thanks for watching. And for those of you who have read it, wow, I did not expect King Lech, like out of all people, and what a crazy psycho he was, or is, or whatever, right? Like, he was just weird, and I want, I wish I knew more about him, like why is his, where did he like get that grace from, and what was his past like? Um... I don't know if that's talked about in Fire or Bitter Blue. I think it's in Bitter Blue. I think actually that's what that whole book is about from what I read about it. But yes, I love Poe. He's so sweet. He's so great. And I was so sad for him when he lost his vision. But I'm glad that his grace still allows him to sense and feel things. But that was so sad. I was like, no, not Poe. He's so great and brave and everything. And he was just great. And... I feel like him and Katza made the perfect team with both of their graces. They were just like the perfect dynamic duo. Um, I really liked Bitter Blue and I'm glad that she was with Katza on the journey when Poe was sick and had to stay behind because truthfully I don't think Katza would have, it would have been able to survive if Bitter Blue wasn't there. And Katza's just so hard on herself throughout the whole book. But really, she's really genuine and true to herself, and I really enjoyed her character. I thought that she was really nice to Bitter Blue, like always making her those fur coats and just always being there and protecting her. And I just loved it so much, and I'm so glad that she finally killed King Lek. And I was so scared for her when she was under his like spell or whatever you want to call it, because I was like, no, you've been through this whole journey, and now you're just going to like give up from him talking to you, and you can't remember, but... Yes, it was so great. I loved every second of it. I love the characters. I loved the setting. And yeah, if you guys have read it, leave your comments below on what you liked and what you didn't like. And if you, I loved Poe's brothers and his family. And yes, it was just super great. So I'm so happy I read this. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye!